Hey there and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start this video with exciting news since Pelican is gonna release their new puzzles very soon and I have a confirmed date, it's gonna be Friday. Hope it's gonna be early in the morning as it was with the previous release so that American buyers can buy uh, new puzzles late at night on Thursday. As you remember, I have a giveaway of a Web3 puzzle uh, from the uh, next Pelican release. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, Click right here, watch my video and find out how you can take part in a giveaway. But because of the uh, early release, I didn't expect it to be so early. I thought it's going to happen only next week. I'm going to do a draw of my giveaway tomorrow in my Instagram. So if you want to find out who uh, is going to be the winner of the giveaway, uh, subscribe to my Instagram. Link is going to be in a video description tomorrow, uh, probably around... Uh, uh, evening uh, in Prague, I'm gonna uh, do a live stream and find out who's gonna be the winner of the giveaway. So you still have uh, some time to watch my video review of the next Pelican release and uh, enter the giveaway. And now let's talk about today's puzzle. Today I'm gonna solve a Mondrian puzzle. It was designed by Jürgen Reiche and made by Siebenstein Spiele in Germany. This puzzle may remind you the Mondrian Blocks puzzle, which I solved about a month ago, but there was a completely different puzzle with multiple challenges uh, from easy levels to extremely difficult. I even uh, had a couple of uh, messages from my viewers who were asking for help since some of the challenges were extremely difficult and it took uh, me quite some time to figure out the correct solution. Difficulty level of the Mondrian puzzle is 9 out of 10 and the object is to fit all parts, including the one that comes aside, into the tray. And uh, the final picture is supposed to be like a picture of the famous artist Mondrian. I think this puzzle is going to be quite a challenge, but with the right approach, it's going to be not so difficult to uh, figure out solutions. So we will see it after I try to solve the puzzle. If you like the Mondrian puzzle and you want to buy it, link is going to be in the video description as always. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. And now I'll try to solve the Mondrian puzzle. What's make it different to the Mondrian puzzle that I solved about a month ago on my channel is that here we have extra pieces like this black part which are supposed to be between the bigger pieces so the end result is supposed to be like this part in the corner each piece is supposed to be surrounded by these uh, separation parts okay let's see what we can do maybe i can just rearrange some parts and that's going to be the solution let's see I need a bigger piece here, but I see that this one is a little bit smaller. This one is going to be definitely much larger. So probably something is wrong here. Either the separation part or this piece is not supposed to be here. What I can put there, I can put something like this and maybe a piece like this. Okay. But then I need another piece that's going to be here. Maybe this one, but what I'm going to put on top. Okay, that is interesting. So that means that I have to remove this part and then put another piece right there on top. Which one? I don't know yet. So probably it's going to be something like this. Mm, but then I don't think I have a piece that's going to be in this part. Yeah, this one is definitely not from here. And then what to do with this piece? It is so large that I think that I have to start solving the puzzle with putting this piece in the correct spot since it can't be close to the left or right part of the frame. It has to be uh, somewhere between parts like this separating the parts, but it can't be on a side. Mm. And now I don't see any places where I can put it. So maybe this cross isn't correct either and I have to find something else so this looks nice and this piece, piece fits here perfect but what to do with this gap and with this, these two parts maybe i have to remove these two parts and let's see maybe i can put this one here mm, that might look like a true oh and these parts they feel like they have kind of very random sizes since if I put it here, there is a gap between these parts. I don't believe it's supposed to be here. 
So maybe I have to put another part in this spot or maybe this piece is not in the correct place since there is a tiny gap here as well. And I don't want to uh, touch this part since it looks just perfect. Oh, I guess I have to remove all the parts and start from the very beginning. I don't want to do that. I think that I still can do something here. Let's see. Maybe this goes here. What to do next? This piece is kind of strange. If I put this one, uh, that looks pretty nice, but then I can't put anything here. Oh, that's interesting. This piece, it has different lengths of this part and this part. Ooh. And I guess this one as well. This part is a little bit longer than this part. So now everything looks pretty well, except for one detail. I don't know where to put this part. It will fit here perfectly, like this one. That looks nice. But then I can't put this piece here. I can try to put it here, but then this part is not in the correct spot. Maybe I can change places. Yeah, this fits well, but I don't have anything that I can fit here. And I don't like this gap. And I don't have parts that I can fit there on top. Okay, maybe I'll try to switch places of these two parts. Oh, that was a good idea. That looks nice. Yeah, but then I can't fit this part. This part is too long and I can't put it in any of the spots. Probably something like this, but oh, maybe, no, 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 not like this. Maybe I can put it this way. Oh, that's interesting. And I can add this part here. This one is too small for this cutout. That doesn't look bad. Uh, again, I have an issue here since have nothing to put here. Maybe something like, oh, ooh. Ah, that was so close. That was very close, but I don't know what to do with this part. And I'm not gonna be able to fit a couple of more parts. Ooh. Okay, I have to change something. And I guess that I have to dump everything and try from the very beginning. I hope it's gonna help me to figure out the correct solution. Let's see. I think that I'm gonna start with this large piece and this one is quite weird as well. Maybe they can go like this. No, 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 it's not gonna be like this. Maybe, maybe they go like this. Oh, that nice. No, 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 there is a gap here. Maybe I can, oh, like this. And I think that I saw a part that fits here perfectly. Okay, what's next? There is gonna be enough space here for this piece. If I put it all the way down, I don't have anything to cover this gap. So maybe I have to move it up a little bit. Yeah, but then what I can put here? I don't know. Oh, I can put it all the way up and put something here. This looks nice, maybe this piece as well, and no, 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 maybe this part. Uh, this one, yeah, okay. This corner looks just as I want it to be. This one is too big. Which piece is gonna fit here? This one fits, but there is a gap. Oh, this one fits, perfect, okay. But what to put here? Maybe, oh, maybe this piece and then this fits here and something like this. Okay. What to do with the rest? I don't know what to, oh, this cross fits well. Oh, that looks like everything goes as planned. Oh, no, 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 <gasps> done. The puzzle is solved and that wasn't easy, I will tell you, even though it took me like 11 minutes to solve it, but I could spend much more time uh, trying to figure out solutions since 
At the very beginning, I thought this puzzle is quite random since all the parts are different, they have different size, all these tiny uh, separation pieces are completely different and sometimes you don't have enough, just a tiny bit of piece and you don't have uh, it and you don't know where to find it. But with the right approach, as I told you at the beginning, uh, it is uh, going to be um, possible to figure out the correct way to solve the puzzle. And the final uh, picture is quite nice, probably if you cover it with something that the parts are not going to fall out, it's going to be just a beautiful picture which you can uh, probably even hang on a wall if you make a hole on the back side of the puzzle as it was with the box puzzle and that's going to be just a nice decor for your interior. If you like Mondrian puzzles and you want to buy it, link is going to be in a video description. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe and don't forget that you still have a chance to take part in my giveaway of the Web3 puzzle uh, by Pelican. Uh, link to uh, that video where you can uh, enter the giveaway is going to be right here. See you in my next video.